All right, so today we are going to be doing our first ever run of the new Fighting Legend Vegeta event, which, as the name would suggest, is very similar to the Fighting Legend Goku event, except with Vegeta instead of Goku. And I've been really looking forward to the release of this event for a while now, because not a lot of stuff in this game really feels challenging at this point, so I'm really hoping that this event will provide us with the challenge that I've been looking for. So with that said, let's jump right into it. And the team we're going to be using for today's video is the powerful comeback category team, which will also allow us to complete one of the missions. So uh, this is the team. We got the double int LR SSP Vegeta's, AGL UI Goku, tech LR Jiren, int UI Goku, tech LR Gogeta, and finally the uh, tech Gohan and Piccolo. The items are Princess Snake and Aider. And we also have the Icarus support memory. Now, obviously, this team is pretty overpowered, I would say. So I'm definitely expecting to clear this event in our first run. But I'm hoping that things will get at least a little bit interesting as we get closer to the end of the event. So with that said, let's jump right into it. Let's see what happens. Okay, so first rotation, we have both the UI Gokus and SSB Vegeta. I think I'm gonna keep the int UI Goku in rotation just for the stacking. And why don't we just do double UI Gokus for this rotation? And then the other one can be like SSB and Jiren or something like that. So defensively, we're looking pretty good, pretty good. And I'll give a couple orbs to the UI, a couple to the other UI, and we'll give these to the uh, SSB Vegeta. So first phase, first stage, we're facing base Vegeta. There are seven phases in total. It goes base Vegeta, and then Super Saiyan 1 Vegeta, uh, Super Vegeta, Super Saiyan 2, no Super Saiyan 3. Uh, so after Super Saiyan 2, it would be... Super Saiyan God, Super Saiyan Blue, and finally, Super Saiyan Blue Evolution. Okay, so it looks like we're going to get past this first phase with no issues, which is fine. There we go. And now we have Super Saiyan 1 who is Fizz. Okay, so for this rotation, why don't we keep the Tech Goku and Vegeta yeah, let's do that. And that's going to be a nice 24 key super for them. Uh, I'll give these to SSBE and let's give one orb the Gohan and Piccolo. Okay, so we're getting supered. This might suck. It's not too bad. Now, for context, my Goku and Vegeta is only at 55%. So. Yeah, I thought they would take more damage from a super, but that was fine. Of course, they do have the 30% damage reduction, so they're pretty decent um, as tanks, but by far not the best tanks out there. Uh, Alright, so second phase, still not taking that much damage. I can already tell that it's probably not going to be as hard as the GT Legendary Goku event. I could be wrong. You know, once again, this is my first time doing this, so maybe the difficulty ramps up a lot. But uh, so far, yeah, at this point, I feel like it's probably not quite on the same level as the GT Legendary Goku event, but probably harder than the regular Legendary Goku event. Okay, so let's uh, keep letting the int UI attack. Let me see what his defense is now. 188k, not bad. And... Let's get an 18k super for UI. I'll give these to Jiren. So this should do it. Uh -huh. Okay, 3.9. Very nice. I'm probably not going to transform the Gogeta until we get to the final phase. Because uh, the SSB Vegeta is AGL. So he should be able to uh, do some damage, some good damage on that phase. All right, so second phase done. Third phase is uh, Tech Super Vegeta. Yo, these SSB Vegetas 
are about to have a field day. This is going to be nasty. All right, uh, I'm going to put my SSB in that first slot. Let's give these to him. Uh, get the tech ones to the Gogeta and give these to the other SSB. I'll save the um, active skill attacks for, for later. But yeah, if we get a couple of additionals, we might be able to kill him off with this one rotation. And he doesn't have a lot of HP. I thought by now he would have more HP, but it doesn't seem like that's the case yet. Man, I kind of forgot how little attack uh, Goku and Vegeta can get <laughs> before they transform. Of course, we don't have every link activated, so that's part of it. Um, but man, yeah, these guys don't hit the hardest, do they? That's okay, though. I still love them. I still love them. All right, let's see what this friend Vegeta can do. If he gets one more super, I think that would do it. Oh, no additional. Okay. So that's good. We can... Uh, Get one more stack for my NTY Goku. We're now up to uh, 270,000, which is beautiful. Okay, there we go. 4.44 mil. Oh wait, but that's with the the support as well from uh, Gohan and Piccolo. Um, okay, so defensively, the tech Godita does worry me a little bit. I don't think they'll get us killed, but I think a super attack would hurt quite a bit. But with that said, I'm not using an item at this point, right? Like, I'm not gonna use an item here, so let's just leave it. Let's just see what happens. Uh, and uh, hopefully a super attack doesn't land on them. If there is gonna be a super, I would like the SSB to take it, of course. But we'll see. Additional super there. Another crit. Nice. And additional. And there's a super attack. Okay. That was actually quite some damage. That was actually some damage. Um... You guys know SSBE is a very good tank, so the fact that he took that much damage uh, is is a sign that this Vegeta probably hits pretty hard. <laughs> yeah, wow. Okay, so we might have to be a little bit more careful going forward. Um, I'm still not going to be popping any items, but we do have the Icarus activate here. Uh, let's see. So 310k is the defense, so we don't have to worry about him at all. And then UI should kill him, but if not, then Vegeta will definitely kill himself. 4.6 now. 4.6. And wow, he didn't die, okay. Okay, well, he's gonna die now. 5.3 for the AGL UI. But, uh. Yeah, that was crazy. I swear he was gonna die to that super. So there we go. That is Super Saiyan 2 Vegeta. Now we're on Super Saiyan God. He's an int type. I think this guy hits pretty hard. And it's also a little bit scary that we have two tech uh, units on our rotation right now. Um. We do not have the revival skill active right now, so that is also a problem. But screw it, I'm not using any items. I'm committed to that. I mean, not like for the entire run. I'm just saying like, I'm not gonna use an item until we get to at least Super Saiyan Blue Vegeta. Uh, hopefully that was not a mistake. <laughs> it might end up being a mistake. Yeah, Vegeta took more damage than I thought he would, man. Damn. So, the difficulty from, you know, Super Saiyan 2 to Super Saiyan God 
uh, seems to take a pretty big leap. At least, like how hard he hits. Yeah, there's a pretty significant jump here. And his defense actually goes up by, by a lot as well. So now we're relying on Gohan and Piccolo to take like five attacks at the end. <laughs> which is not promising. But we made it! We made it! And now we got the UI transformation. That's uh, what I was actually uh, going for. You know, guys, like, uh, that that was the plan all along, so, um, yeah, awesome. <laughs> uh, let's, let's see, let's see, okay, so let's give these to AGL UI and Jiren. Uh, ooh, he might be in some trouble, but it's fine. I'm gonna predict that the super attack is gonna be in the first slot, and then UI is gonna dodge it, and we'll be good to go. We'll be good to go. If he happens to super us in the third slot, yeah, we might we might be dead. That that might be game over for us. Yikes. I think I messed up guys. <laughs> I think I messed up guys. I should have just used the item. I should have just used the item. What am I doing? We already made it so far. Okay, well, uh, I believe in Jiren. I believe that he's going to come through for us with the additional, and it'll be fine. Yeah, look, if he if he gets an additional super here, he should still kill. Ooh. Oh, wow. Okay, you know what? Here's what I was really going for, guys. I was going for the um, the revival skill. I wanted you guys to see the revival skill, which we almost never get to see, right? Like for the UI and the um, SSB, like that almost never happens. So that's really what I wanted to showcase here. That's why I didn't use any items, right? Like, yeah. Uh, Totally my plan and it succeeded. So there you go. <laughs> no, honestly, I was kind of hoping that the Gogeta or the Goku and Vegeta would just die. So we got to see the revival skill right away. Um, but now they are getting a token attack and it's probably not going to hit that. Oh, actually, never mind. Did more damage than I was expecting. Uh, unfortunately, now we do not have a revival skill available. Wait, hold on. Oh, never mind. No, I, I thought maybe UI had it, but we don't. I don't think we took enough hits. So, yeah, that is upsetting. But now we're on Super Saiyan Blue Vegeta. Uh, I, I think we probably should just pop <laughs> the Princess Snake <laughs> just to be safe and. Uh, why are there always so many attacks at the end, man? That sucks. But, I mean, yeah, I think Goku and Piccolo, or sorry, Gohan and Piccolo will be okay defensively with the Princess Snake. So we'll just leave it as is. Um, let's let UI do his thing. Let the other UI do his thing. And, yep, yeah, here we go. So, hey. What I was hoping would happen has kind of happened. Things definitely were interesting in this run, if not for, uh, you know, some stupid reasons. You know, just uh, me screwing up a little bit. But uh, it was definitely interesting. It was definitely interesting. I, I for sure thought that Jiren would get supered and we would just die like that. But uh, somehow we, we didn't. I, I don't really know how he went back to back turns without taking a single super attack that was kind of weird but i guess dokkan just loves me today you know what uh Taya was telling me actually that this year in the chinese zodiac is the year of the tiger okay so this is literally my year guys 
Like, it's literally the year of the tiger. It's my year. So what that means is um, only good things will happen to me this year. <laughs> Yo, knock on wood, fingers crossed. I should not have said that. Now I'm for sure going to get, like, run over by a car as soon as I step outside, which uh, would be kind of sad. At least for me. It would be kind of sad for me. Maybe not for you guys. <laughs> But yeah, man, it's the year of the tiger, so I guess that's why the Super Saiyan God Vegeta didn't super us. But if he did super us, yo, Jiren would have died, no question. Like, he, he would not have survived. Considering how much damage he was taking from the normals, yeah, there was no chance that Jiren was surviving that super. But we didn't get supered, it's, it's really weird. It's really strange. I'm not gonna really ask questions. I'm just going to accept it for what it is. Uh, let's see what this does. That was okay, actually. But we did have the Aider active, so we got a lot more defense than normal. But yeah, 133k. Uh, not a problem. So, the way I see it is this event is designed to be easier than the GT Legendary Goku event, harder than the regular Legendary Goku event, because they're going to be releasing a GT Legendary Vegeta event at some point in the future, and, um, you know, make that harder than the GT Legendary Goku event. So, uh, as far as, you know, difficulty goes, it really isn't that bad. Um, although, although we're not at the end yet, so maybe I should just stop talking um, in case I get killed by SSB Vegeta, but I don't think it's going to be too difficult to uh, take him out too. We'll see though, anything can happen, um, but yeah, that's my theory right now. It's supposed to be easier than the GT Legendary Goku event because we will get a second uh, GT Legendary Vegeta event later on. Okay, so if UI Goku crits here, then we will kill... I mean, even if he doesn't crit, I mean, that attack stat is pretty insane. So even with no crits, we might actually kill him. There we go. And now we have SSBE Vegeta. And of course, as I said, we are transforming the tech Gogeta immediately. I love this animation, man. So clean. Oh, he looks so good. He looks so good, guys. Oh my god. In case you can't tell, I love Gogeta. Huge, huge Gogeta fanboy. So we put Gogeta there. Um, he also can tell us where supers are coming. So we do have a super there. Which uh, I think he will take just fine. I think he will take just fine. Give those to SSBE, and we'll give these to Gohan and Piccolo. All right, let's get it. Let's get it, 96, 25, 96. Yeah, we'll be fine. We'll be just fine. Ooh. <laughs> oh damn, okay. Uh, <laughs> he hits pretty hard. He hits pretty hard, and he also lowers your defense by a lot. Unless unless my eyes deceive me, unless I saw it wrong, I'm pretty sure we took double digits, and then after the super attack, we took 50k from a normal attack. Yeah, that that is a big defense debuff right there. Wow. Still, Gogeta is fine. <laughs> he took that like a champ. But, uh, definitely scared me for a second. He definitely scared me for a second. Okay. Nice, solid super attack from, uh, Gohan and Piccolo. And there's the dodge. I heard that, uh, SSB Vegeta has a 9% chance to dodge. So he shouldn't be dodging that much, but every once in a while he will, uh... You know, he will, he will dodge still. So let's put this guy here. Now, uh, just like the uh, UI Goku and also the 
Super Saiyan 4 full power Goku. SSB Vegeta does disable dodge, so he can't dodge anymore at this point. But I think uh, we have enough defense to not really worry about that. But just in case, I will pop a Princess Snake here. And let's go for... Let's go for the UI Goku um, active skill as well. <laughs> let's just see all the animations. Although I'm still kind of sad that we didn't get to see the SSB Vegeta revival skill. Um, even though that was not the intention, <laughs> even though I didn't purposely try to get it before, we had a chance to get it, right? We had a chance to actually see it, and it just didn't happen, which is very upsetting. Okay, uh, just give these to him. Um, let's do three for UI, and an 18k super for Jiren. Yeah, man, it really sucks. It really sucks. I haven't seen a revival skill from UI or SSB in literally... I mean, since the anniversary, basically. I think that was the last time I saw one of these revival skills. It was during the 6th anniversary. <laughs> and I saw the Roshi one recently, but that's still pretty rare as well. And uh, yeah, look at that, man. Even with 300,000 defense, with the Princess Snake, we still took 150k. And he still obviously debuffed our defense by a ton, so... I will say, SSB Vegeta's no joke. SSB Vegeta is no joke. You gotta be careful with him. Especially because of that defense debuff. His normals will hit very hard after you eat one of his supers. Is Jiren gonna finish the job? Is he going to do it? Not quite, but good damage. Good damage. <laughs> Alright. Um, this turn... Should we pop a couple of active skills? Let's do it. Let's do at least one. I don't want to do both, actually, because... This feels like a waste of time. <laughs> but let's do at least one. I'll give it to my Vegeta. I doubt it's going to hit that hard. But the animation is beautiful. There we go. So yeah, not a lot of damage. Um, no supers this turn though, which is good. And oh, we got the shirtless Vegeta too. I forgot about that. I forgot he strips after he used the active skill, which is a nice bonus. And <laughs> there we go. All right. So this might be the last rotation of the video, guys. Um, if it is, then I will say this is. A decently challenging event, not quite as hard as I would have hoped for, but if I brought a less overpowered team, it definitely would be more of a challenge. And uh, I think for the average player, it's still going to be hard enough for it to be fun and interesting. Um, but yeah, I kind of wanted it to be more difficult, like harder than the GT Legendary Goku event, but now that I think about it, it does make sense that it's not, you know? Uh, it makes sense that they're saving the really hard Vegeta event for the GT Legendary Vegeta event. So, looking forward to that in a couple of years, I guess. <laughs> and uh, Gogeta is going to finish the job, uh, which is very fitting. He deserves it. There we go. And there you have it, guys. That is the GT Legendary or sorry, uh, no, that is the Legendary Vegeta event, or the Fighting Legend Vegeta event. Overall assessment, not too bad, but definitely not a pushover, definitely not a joke. So let me just collect my stones here. We got 17. We got uh, enough tickets to do a couple multis. Maybe I should try like one, or maybe I should save them for... Nah, screw it. Let's not save them. We'll do one Vegeta multi. Let's see if we can pull an LR. I doubt it, but crazier things have happened. So here we go. I'm pretty sure every single non Dokkan Fest LR Vegeta is on this banner. So we got like Maja Vegeta, Super Saiyan 2 Angel Vegeta, uh, what else? So on and so forth. <laughs> I don't actually remember what else there is. But the point is, yeah, there are a couple of LR Vegetas on this banner. 
you're unlikely to pull one. But it could happen. Not there though. Let's do one more. Screw it. <laughs> Why not? Let's do one more. Okay, so a bunch of peeps pulling up. Uh, I feel like we're gonna get an SSR at least. That's what it means, right? When you get the full complement of characters. I'm pretty sure it's a guaranteed... Oh, there you go. Super Saiyan 3 too. So SSR, but I don't need any of the featured units. It's gotta be an unfeatured LR. And I think the only one I really need is Super Saiyan 2 Angel Vegeta. Okay, and... Oh, double SSR. Obviously don't need these guys, but there you go. Two SSRs, I'll take it. And uh, that's going to be today's video, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Good luck on your runs. I'll be back probably with a couple of more runs with different categories to complete all the missions. But for now, that's it. As always, if you liked today's video, then make sure to like the damn video. If it's your first time watching me, first time to the channel, you like what you see, then definitely hit that big red subscribe button. To join the Tiger Squad now, while you're at it, hit that notification bell too so that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content. And uh, until next time, have an awesome, awesome day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media. Signing out.